Hey everyone and welcome to my first ever Power Query tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to merge two tables together in Power Query. Normally we would do this using a VLOOKUP, but I wanted to show you another way to do it, which is a lot more efficient and even less prone to error in my opinion. So we have some data here. Um, in, the, in our first tab, we have a list of passengers that were on board the Titanic. And in our second tab, we have some more information here about the ticket numbers, the fares they paid, the cabin they were in, and so forth. Now, what if I wanted to merge these two tables together? So I'll show you how to do that using Merge in Power Query. So the first thing we need to do is bring our data into the Power Query editor. So to do that, let's go over to our Data tab in the ribbon. And we're going to get data from table or range. So we'll bring in our first table here hit OK. And here is our Power Query editor. For now, let's just give our table a name in the editor called Passenger Data. Close and load. And we also need to bring in our ticket data. So let's go to our Data tab from Table or Range again. And we'll just give it a name here data mode. So you can see here uh, in the right pane that we've imported both of our ta tables into the Power Query editor. So now we want to merge the two tables together. So to do that, let's go back into the Power Query editor. To get back in there, we can just go to data, get data, launch Power Query editor. We can see our two tables here. Let's go over to our main passenger data table. And we're going to now go to merge. So in the first table here, we can see our passenger data. And we're going to add our second table that we want to merge with, our ticket data. And now we just need to tell Power Query how we want to merge the two data sets together. So we need a unique identifier, essentially, to bring the two tables together. So we can see here that in table one, we have passenger ID, and we also have passenger ID in table two. So we can use that to link the two tables together. So I'm just going to click there and there. For the join kind, we'll leave it to the default, which is left outer, which basically means that we're going to return everything in the first table plus any matching records in the second table. Let's hit OK. And you can see here now in the Power Query Editor, that a new column has been added called ticket data. And we can expand that column. And you can see now that we have all access to all of the columns from the ticket data query. So we can essentially pull in any of these columns now. So let's try that. Let's do ticket number, fare, cabin. Hit OK. Scroll across here. And we can see that with the click of a button, we've essentially brought in these three columns from our ticket data data set into our passenger data set. Let's hit close and load to get back to the normal Excel editor. We'll go over to our passenger data tab and we can see again that those three columns have been added. So of course we could have done this using a VLOOKUP but I find this to be a lot easier, a lot more efficient and a lot more accurate, less prone to error and you don't have to deal with all of those VLOOKUP uh, problems. So I hope you enjoyed this first video in my Power Query tutorial series. If you did, please like and subscribe. Also, what video should I make next? Leave a comment below and I'll be back soon with another easy Excel tutorial.